Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm Patty. Hello, I'm Carrie. And we are Studio R12 Stencils, but we are Studio R12 Love to Paint and Love to DIY and Love to Craft. And so we're here today live to answer all of your questions and to mm -hmm. show you something new. You know, yeah. um, in uh, which is the one like I smell children, you know, can you smell mm -hmm. can the you new products? <laughs> I can. Well, they don't I tell smell, you what, but... your smeller would be busy then because we have been we have adding so much. new products like crazy over the last month with new fall, new Halloween, new Christmas, yep. new tools. We still have new Christmas items trickling in. Yeah. Yeah, we have been busy. And today we have a new tool to share with you. Um, and we're going to show you why it's great and why it's so much. Like it's such a better deal. It is. It's, it's a, such good a good deal. deal. Yeah, it's a really good deal. So um, you're gonna want to know about it. So stick around and do your. You know what? Your I house. only have a couple of things this week. Last week on our YouTube channel on Saturday, we had a really great video about brush and brush pressure and how one brush can do several different things depending mm -hmm. on the type of a pressure you use. It's a really informative video. For when everybody. we got done, so Steve will operate the camera and then I will be doing the things and when we got done filming that I don't think it's very long how long did it end up being Steve do you know I don't know um I can check yeah it's it I it can't have been super long but 19 minutes not, yeah 19 minutes and um but it when we got done Steve went whoa <laughs> that was great that was really great no that was really <laughs> really great and um I don't get that every time I make a video so um sometimes I do but not every time. So he was very impressed with it, but it's all about the pressure that you use when you're so light handed, heavy handed, yeah. medium handed um, for all the different applicators. Like it really does apply. And then how to use it intentionally to be your best friend. So I share all of that. So you want to look at that's last Saturday's video. That'll be um, where do they find it? I am. I've already shared the link. She's already shared the link. This is Carrie, everybody. She is amazing. I am the link share extraordinaire here right. behind the scenes at Studio Art Tool Stencil. You're not very behind the scenes. I'm not behind the scenes. <laughs> I am always in front of the scenes. Um, this week, we have a very um, fun surprise video. Oh, it's going to be fun. We were talking recently about what are some trends that are going on, and I one. had an epiphany of, oh my gosh, I keep seeing this everywhere, and we can do it so easily. You guys, no you problem. are going to want to see this. Yes. It's it, on the creative genius of it all. It's like a zoop, yeah. way up there. It's, it's super fun. So that's Saturday morning. Get your cup of coffee. Take advantage of the new fall weather that we're all kind of yes. getting a little bit cooled off. Hopefully everybody gets a little bit of that. Yes. And enjoy the outside. Watch a video. I know. I the ended, birds chirp. ended my evening last night with a cup of tea on the porch. And I started my morning this morning with a cup of tea on the porch. So I was like, I'm going to... Um, Whatever happens to my hair happens to my hair because it's too nice of a morning to not be outside. Yeah, I love it. This is the kind the time of year where we're always out on the porch. So yay, porch season. And uh, porch season means you need to get your porch, um, tall porch signs painted so yes. that you can have your porch all decked out. Um, don't forget about that. We have some great, great selections. And we also um, have so many porch mat this is mm -hmm. messy season where the rain will start yes. and all of that. So don't forget that we have you hooked up. Get an Ikea front porch mat. Mm -hmm. Get one of our stencils. Make them as gifts for friends. Ikea mats, are, I think, are $12 each. Such a cheap price. Yeah. It's such a... And they're easy, easy, easy to do, and we have a couple of videos on those. I want to say a quick welcome to our friend Linda. She says yeah, she is Linda. new to stenciling and she is waiting on her first order. Yay, Linda, you're going to love it. It's so exciting and it's so much fun. Yeah. I ah, stenciling you guys is liberating. It is. And I want to say so if you are not part of our newsletter, I'm going to highly recommend that you go to our website, spin the spin wheel, sign up for the newsletter. Because last week on Friday, it was my birthday, and we did a super fun event, and mm -hmm. our stencil fans loved it. Yeah. So the event was Friday. We have people telling us they, first of all, already have some of their products that they got from the event, and people have already 
painted some of the things that they got from the event, which is super cool because yeah. it's only Tuesday. Yes, you guys. And we ship fast too. So um, for those of you who don't know us, um, we have been in the stencil business. Um, and I've been a painter in that business for 35 years, which is a big number. Um, but we've been in the stencil business for about 10 years. And um, we have, um, everything is manufactured right here in Ohio. Um, we have um, right in our building here shared, we have a design side and then we have a manufacturing side. Mm -hmm. Everything ships out next day. Not, you won't get it the next day, but it gets shipped out the morning after the order is placed. So we ship in real time, we get it to you quick. Um, and yep. so, and it's USA and it's all the things. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think, good? oh. Our project of the month gets shipped out this week on Friday. Ooh. Yay! So if you have purchased the pre-order for the September 2023 project of the month, it will be shipped out Friday. Yeah. And we have all kinds of fun stuff coming for you. And we've already, like, our October project of the month is in the works. And yeah. we are, we We're excited it. about we're that one. It's it. really a Every really Every month unique. that we do this, we're yeah. like, oh, we're excited. Oh, we're excited. Oh, we're excited. <laughs> So, so much fun. And if you guys haven't, I think we have one or two more seats for our live event with Carrie yeah. and I here in Gallup Place, Ohio, which is um, two hours from Columbus, two, three hours from Pittsburgh, um, giving you just like the geographical like location of things. We're three hours from Louisville, Lexington, four hours from Louisville, no, three hours from Louisville, two hours from Lexington. Um, so that's where we're at. So we're within driving distance of like a lot of this part of the country. So it'd make a lovely day. Come join us and we will have so much fun and you will get more value than you have any idea of because we want this to be just, we are super excited. Just, about it uh, I, we want it to be Christmas for you, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and, it, and it will be, it'll be so great. Yeah. So. Our friend Glenda says, I am one of the ones who has already painted with the new goodies. So yes. yes. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about new products. I have, you're gonna be like, ooh. Okay, so new products are these new foam applicators, okay? So our old applicators are the poly foam brushes, okay? That is their little brand name. And we love them because they're built correctly. Um, I purchased a substandard poly foam applicator from a big box store. And when we tore it apart and it got thrown away because somebody used it in a project and then threw it in the trash because it had some dried stuff and they didn't realize it was because we broke it ourselves. Anyway, the substandard um, applicators end with the stick and the stick usually is right where it ends, like right here. It doesn't, nothing is entered in supporting in there. This is our poly foam brush and this one goes slightly further than these new brushes, but we'll, we'll get there for just a second. What that does is it gives support so that when you do your brush, I don't know, and you guys do a raise of hand in the chat to let me know that I'm not alone and just being solo on this one. When you use, I'm gonna tear this completely apart. When you use an applicator without the support in it and it does this and you're just sliding the paint, you might as well just be finger painting or something, but that is such a terrible applicator and that's what, inferior poly foam brushes do. So when you use it with the support, it's firm and it doesn't fold all down on itself. So enter in, we went to some trade shows this summer and we were um, talking to a good old friend of mine that owns big old company and we were in his booth and I looked at these applicators and I was like, well, oh, that's interesting. Let me go grab a sample. You know, I did it just like that. Well, yes, that's exactly <laughs> how she sounded. And we had to apologize. And be like, oh, okay. So, but what I love about this is this is a mega dense. I mean, I'm talking like Mondo mega dense. I'm pushing with my hand and it is not denting. And so we tore one of these apart as one must do when you are at PRD, right? <laughs> Okay, so we tore this one apart, and ta-da, it has that support, and it's super, actually mm -hmm. super, like, strong. So, and it is, the, the foam is actually dense enough where it doesn't fold all down um, on itself, and then it's also got the support, so now you can really get a dense application of paint. So, the idea of this applicator is that you are supposed to be able to push paint across your surface, 
and get coverage and stuff like that. So I wanna show you a couple of the different sizes that we have. Okay, so this one comes in these, is this is probably two inches. That's a, it's a three inch. It's a three inch. Okay, so three inches. Um, and so that's for your big projects, right? Have you ever wanted to finish the base coat part first, fast, um, so that you can get to the next part of your project, right? Like base coating is boring, um, I think, but um, it can be soothing. But when you're doing it for a really long time, it's really <laughs> boring. Anyway, this comes in a two pack. And then these are the same basic size as the applicator that so we that's are. that's called our two inch. That's the two inch. So the three inch, the big one comes in a set of two. Set of two, yep. And, and this comes in a set of three. Three, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then this is just the same width, but it's not quite as long as the applicator. And this handle does feel like an inferior um, wood, but it, I don't think it matters. Um, so this one just feels a little bit more like real wood and this is some sort of maybe pulp something or another. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to get that far into it because it doesn't matter, but this is a three pack. And then these little guys, which I kind of love They're these. They're so teeny tiny. And a baby. So it's a one inch wonder. We should call it a one inch wonder. It's so We good. can. All right. But what I love about this is if you've ever wanted to just get in and just do really fine little bits of things, or you have little surfaces or little things to do, these are your jam and they come in a four pack, which I love. And so I'm tattling on ourselves, but there's nothing I can do about it because prices are not set by like this, these people, it's set by outside of us. This little guy's $1.99 for one, mm -hmm. correct? And then all three of these sets are $2.99, but you get four, you get three and you get two of the big sizes so they are a much 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 better deal that is my job my goal for you guys is to find and dig out better techniques better pricing better quality better everything more creative more anything like that that is what we do for you that's what our job is like you guys we work for you and um, we want to serve you so let's look at what they do. I do have a couple questions. Okay, let's have questions first. Debbie asked, are you supposed to dampen the foam brush first? Mm. You can, um, but you can puddle if you do. Um, if you want it washy, then you can dampen it, but I do not um, ever, really, mm -hmm. I, I can. If I was doing glazes and I wanted to thin them out, I would dampen, but if I dampened, I would press and get rid of some of that liquid okay. because they really do trap a lot of your liquid in there so you want to be careful of that okay and then sue <clears throat> asked do they wash up well they do yeah so all of these are just made with the foam that you can just squish out um if you're not doing this when this is um last week's paint water we end up getting busy right after we film so we always end up with our brushes deep in the the goo Make sure, do I need to, are we good here? Okay, so make sure that your foam brushes, so we switch, I don't know if those of you have been with us for a while, we used to have a much bigger container because we also have a paint and make it workshop place here in town and we use the like gallon sized buckets. And so we switched to these smaller little paint washing up buckets and that lets us put our foam brushes inside the water all the way in in our big bucket of water they would float and we leave these this has been in here for a week and these will wash up perfectly and so do these we haven't switched to these yet because um we haven't introduced it yet to you guys and then we you guys are gonna do this and i'm gonna get my predictor hat i've got my crystal ball going so you guys are gonna be excited about these because they are so amazing right and so then you're gonna go and you're gonna buy them all out because you never know how many to order and then we're gonna get them restocked and then you guys are gonna buy them all out <laughs> and then we're gonna get them restocked and then it'll all settle down and then we can start being like in that in that little trend kind of thing yeah. that they do. They wash up great. But if I had one earlier, uh, this, yeah, this guy. This one. Yeah. If you float them and you can hear it, ready? If they float, then you end up with this little hard ridge and you know, when I, so sometimes our teachers over at um, Boardroom are not always super good about squishing the brushes or maybe they floated a little bit long and they hardened. Um, and so you'll see me standing there just picking 
little hard bits off of foam brushes sometimes when I want to use them. So you can kind of clean them up and sometimes it's not bad, um, but I'll pick off if that's a sharp edge, I'll just pick it off and chuck it out. And then the only thing it doesn't do for you is you can't use it for a good antiquing. So um, the antiquing is what needs that kind of good clean edge so that you get that pressure. Yeah. But so, so make sure they stay sunk. I have shared a video. We, ha we did a little video that shows why we have started using that size bucket and instead of using the big bucket when the brushes can fall and that's a lot of times why they look that way is because they'll fall on their side and so one side isn't underneath the water and then it gets crusty however i like using the crusty brushes when i do dry brushing okay. and like do because it leaves the like streaky a, a, it because it is crusty it. yeah yeah because it's not as even is even yeah. and it's not as wet and it might not pick up the paint as yeah. well so i do like to grab a crusty one every I now and pick then pick the crusties off every day and that's what's so cool about this though is you get like these two mm -hmm. takes on this and we just have different styles and have painted differently throughout everything so let's take a look at how they do um antiquing we know they're going to do base coating um i can do some gray let's do base coating first um so that we can show actually let's do antiquing first because <clears throat> once you get a lot of paint in your brush and you can take care of that by blotting out some of your paint so um, you, if you get a ton of paint buildup and you're trying to do your antiquing then you can blot that out offload your brush that we say that all the time uh, make sure that you are just offloading you really do want to go see that pressure video I I do really like um, everything covered in that video. It was like super, if you're really good at painting or you're really new at it, you're gonna get a lot from that video. Um, you're gonna identify with all the things. So we'll get a paper towel, we'll get some of our white, we'll pick that up and we'll just blot. I like to just kind of tap the tip in there and then I blot it off and then you come up here and you just start at your edge and you give it a nice little flick. Okay, so, and then I'm not gonna spill the beans on last week's video. I'm gonna just show you that it does a nice, good streaky streak. And you can watch last week's video to get the whole technique. So I did this in white on black so that you would get the most possible contrast to be able to see the scratchiness. That's what you're after with these foam brushes. And if we were in the brush, Okay, so this is good foam. Let's go in here and pretend like we're an inferior. I can't even wipe it off right. So if we go in here, so this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna fold on itself and I can get it, but it's super uneven. I want even when I'm doing this, I don't wanna throw this away, so I'll have to wash that. I don't wanna keep destroying brushes. So if I wanted it to get uneven like that, I can go in here and I can control that with this brush and I can give, I can control it. So the whole thing about painting with a stencil is you don't have to freehand, you don't have to, you don't have to know how to base coat, you don't have to, you, there's so much learning curves in so many of these things. I just grammatically just butchered all of that last sentence. I apologize to all English teachers and knowledgeable people everywhere. But Control is the name of the game, and then you want to get to your end beautiful game easily. So we want that for you, and so like that's that's important. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to um, the gray because the white will take forever to base coat over that black, and then we'll just look at our application. Okay, so nice even application, and I'm in just that number um, two inch brush. Okay, so as you see that my brush is, um, can you get a good close up of that, Steve? Mm -hmm. So if I push here and I'm pushing really hard, it's built to drag on this flat right there. So when I pick up my paint, I can pick it up on that edge and then I smear it with the other side, but it's not folding down at all. This is a really great little brush and um, I cannot believe that I knew where these lived all of these years and didn't yeah. need to get them. I had no idea. Um, honestly, for the price, I thought 
they were absolute junk brushes and I didn't, I was like, obviously I can't look at you because you're too cheap for me. Yeah. You know, and it was like, if I'd have found these at the dollar store, I would have made the same like, like look sure. and I never even tried them. So, well, and we've had a couple questions about these verse our polyfoam brush. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are going to continue to carry mm -hmm. the polyfoam yeah. brush. This is not going to replace it. What this is going to do is it is going to give you different options. We love options here. Yeah. We have a couple different dome brushes. We have a couple different yeah. shaders. And yeah. why we do that is because we can get them at a couple of different price points. So if you want multiple sizes, if you yeah. want to do tiny things or large things, you now have that option. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy in bulk, you now have that option. Yeah. So some people, well, you know, and, and one thing um, Steve reminded me of last week is remember, you can't use these with petroleum products. So um, don't do that. That's very important. Um, but this is, in my opinion, the same as this, but this is almost, um, it's probably a third cheaper if I'm thinking about it like in dollars. I'm doing like mental math. You shouldn't ever let me do mental math. No. But uh, you get a slightly more premium feel. Yeah. So um, this is fantastic. These are fantastic. You get more for your money with these. Um, that's all I have to say about that really is you yeah. get more for your money and I owe that to you guys. You know, if I can do it, I'm going to do it. And, um, and so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Any um, other questions? We, that's like we, short and sweet, like drop sweet. mic, um, you know, we, we also use these for varnishing. Mm -hmm. Some, some, someone was asked saying that they like to use the foam brush for varnishing. We do not use the foam brush for stenciling. No, never, never. Um, actually there's, a whole bunch of stenciling companies that show um, stenciling with these and almost always and other artists and even influencers with like you know a million um, views and things like that mm -hmm. and they will use one of these for stenciling and they will bleed under every single time and then they like accept it as if it's true and it doesn't need to happen guys yeah. the dome brush is the key to not not bleeding under so mm -hmm. if you need a not bleeding under tool this is the absolute tool i don't know why it's not more common this is normal is one of these guys and these guys just they they just they're so long and they just splay yeah. and you can't hardly make that splay under something but that's why these don't work and i don't know why they're the norm and we also don't it's very rare that we use the foam these foam brushes on cutouts and embellishments mm -hmm. yeah we use the daubers use for the that. daubers yeah. now the tiny new ones those might be interesting to try with the embellishments and cutouts just because they're they are smaller so the daubers look like this and you'll note that these are also domed so like right applicator right job and um these are great for overlays i don't think we have anything overlay right now but you've seen it if you haven't seen it we have a whole youtube channel and that brings me to Please give us a thumbs up if you like our honesty, if you like our stencils. Um, I wish they could give you, you could give us a heart, um, but give us a thumbs up and then make sure you ring the bell if you want to get more content like this that is good, help you out yep. content. Um, we're here to just, just answer the questions um, mm -hmm. and serve you. Yeah. It's a great thing. You guys have a great day. And see you we'll Saturday. See you Saturday. Yes. Oh, so fun.